and in this video we are actually in New York City. So if you watched my last video, then you know that this is what I asked Kevin for for my 29th birthday. So it's like a birthday trip, but we're also just here to get in the spirit for the holidays and the Christmas season. And then also in December, Kevin usually gets like about a month off of work. So it's also kind of like a end of work celebration for him too. But we're having so much fun. We actually got here yesterday and we did a ton of things and I vlogged it all. So I'm going to insert it here kind of as I'm talking about it. Friday morning, we left our house at around 3.30 in the morning and we had to fly from Fort Wayne to Chicago to New York. So we ended up getting here, I think at 11. And then by the time we got to our hotel, it was like one o'clock and we were a little disappointed when we got here. So we're staying at the Homewood Suites in Midtown. We read that Midtown was a good place to stay for like first timers because it's in walking distance to a lot of popular areas. Even though I've been here once before, I still feel like a newbie when it comes to New York. So anyway, when we got here we were under the impression that we had a confirmation for early check-in but when we got here they said that that wasn't the case so we were a little bummed about that but it actually worked out so we just left our bags here and luckily it was a super nice day yesterday it was super sunny so we walked over to central park which i think took us like about a half hour to walk over there and we loved it i think that's been like my favorite part of the trip so far <laughs> So then after we left Central Park, we went to this mall, which was in Columbus Circle, and it was called Deutsche Bank. And there were just like a few little stores in there that I liked. So we walked through there. We went to Sephora and J. Crew. I actually bought this sweater from J. Crew, so I'm wearing it today. Then on our way back to the hotel to check into our room, we stopped at a pizza place and it was really good and it was really fun because we sat in the window so we could people watch while we ate our pizza. Then we were able to check into our room, which you can see here. It's it's a really nice room. I'll show you the view here in a minute. So yeah, we just have a bed, a couch. There's like a little desk area and then the bathroom. And the only negative thing I have to say about this room is it's not a smart TV, which I don't know why. I just like assume every hotel has a smart TV now. So there were like a couple of shows that we wanted to watch and we weren't able to because it's just like a, normal tv with like cable or whatever so that's my only complaint about this room so far but anyway back to yesterday so after we checked into our hotel we showered and got ready and we walked over to times square and that was really fun i had been there once before but it was fun to just see like kevin's reaction to it all so we did just like a loop around the block basically by the end of it i was really ready to get out of there so there's just so many people and people are bumping into you and this is kind of weird there are a lot of people like dressed in costume to like take pictures with them and then like that's i guess how they make money so there were just like a lot of people coming up to us in costume like asking if we wanted to hug them and like take pictures with them and stuff and it was like kind of creeping me out a little bit so 
I was just like ready to get out of there by the end of it but it was a good experience and I feel like something you just have to do when you come to New York City. So once we were finished seeing all of that we were trying to figure out where to go for dinner and it was just a little overwhelming because there were so many different options but again like we didn't really want to eat like in Times Square because there were just so many people and like the places that we were wanting to go had like really long lines out the door so we actually just stumbled upon this place called Beer Authority and it was like the perfect place for us to go so we walked in there and it was like a two-story restaurant so in the bottom was a bar and then when you went upstairs it was like a bar and restaurant combo so it was just a really fun atmosphere and it was decorated for Christmas so it was super Super cozy and there was a good view and we ended up just getting like three different appetizers that we shared and then I got an espresso martini and yeah we just kind of hung out there for a little bit and ate and then on our way home when we were walking back to our hotel we stopped at Shake Shack and we got Christmas cookie shakes so that was a fun little treat when we got back to our hotel and yeah last night we just could not believe how much we did in one day <laughs> because we were up from like 2 45 in the morning until like almost midnight i think i mean of course we slept on the plane and we took like a tiny nap when we got back to central park yesterday but yeah today we are feeling good and we're ready to take on another day in the city we've gone back and forth on our plans for today but we are going to be seeing the rockets tonight at seven which we're really excited about but that is kind of putting us like on a timeline for today because we just need to make sure that whatever we do we get back in time to get Get ready and get over there so we've gone back and forth on a few different things but i think we decided that today we're going to head over to i believe it's called the seaport so we're going to check out that area and kind of take the day from there so i will bring you along and i really really hope that you enjoy this vlog in new york city so here's the view of our room it's pretty messy because we've already been here for a day but this is the view.
about to leave to go to Fifth Ave. So we're gonna just kind of walk around some of the stores there. I think it's supposed to be like decorated really cute for Christmas. So I'm excited to see that. And then we are going to the Rockets. And after that, we're planning on going to Rockefeller Center and seeing the Christmas tree and all of that. But today we actually ended up taking the subway everywhere. So we were like a little intimidated by that. But I mean, Kevin like figured out how to do everything, but that was perfect because it's so cheap. So we saved so much money by not like taking Ubers everywhere. And then also we didn't have to walk as much. So that was super nice. And then we went to the seaport and they had the cutest building. It was called the Tin Building. And there were just tons of cute little shops and restaurants there. So we got cappuccinos and then we went to see like a view of the Brooklyn Bridge. And there was a restaurant there called Malibu Farms or something, which we absolutely loved. They had such good food. And then it was also just so cute and coastal in there. I actually took pictures of the bathroom as like inspo if we ever get a lake house because yeah, it was just so cute and definitely my style of restaurant. So anyway, I'll show you our outfits and then we are going to take the subway again to Fifth Ave. All right, here's my outfit. So polka dot tights, boots, and a sweater dress. And then I'm just gonna put on this coat. I hope I'm warm enough. And then I'm also gonna take my winter hat. I will say one thing I definitely should have done is pack some gloves because my hands have been really cold. I know. Kevin has on his nice cute outfit. before we leave for the day. We have a little bit of a later start to our day today because I think we are just exhausted <laughs> from the past two days. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm just like a little bit congested, I think, because the air is just so dry here. Like when I woke up this morning, my throat hurts so bad. It doesn't hurt anymore, but I wish I would have brought like a humidifier or like my diffuser or something, but I feel fine. I'm just like really stuffy. Last night was so much fun. So we did go to Fifth Avenue, which is where all of the like luxury, like designer brand stores are. And it was insanely packed. Like it was actually more packed than Times Square. Like there were just so many people packed on the sidewalks and you would just like barely inch away or inch across the sidewalk and people were like stopping to look at the like hollow holiday decorated windows which i mean it was like really cute and then on Saks they had this like light show that went with music so people were stopped there looking at that and then we went over to Rockefeller Center and saw the iconic lit up Christmas tree and all the ice skaters and everything so I feel like that like really got us in the Christmas spirit and then it was time for us to get in line to go to our show which was the Rockets Christmas Spectacular which was so good I cannot stop thinking about it it was 
just such a good show, like so entertaining and there was so much more to it than just the Rockets dancing. So I had a lot of fun there and I think Kevin liked it too. Oh, and I got like a hot chocolate in a really nice cup. Let me show it to you. I mean, it's just like a plastic cup, but I'm going to keep this forever. I was just so excited because I ordered a hot chocolate and I figured it would just come in like a cardboard cup. But when I got this, I was just like, so excited over this cup before the show we only had like a little bit of time from like seeing all the christmas lights on fifth ave to having to go to our show and we were really hungry but we didn't have time to like go to dinner so we ended up just getting like a hot dog and a corn dog and kevin got a pretzel too from one of those little like food carts on the corner which was just so funny because like under normal circumstances i would like I never suggest that because it's kind of gross, but it's New York City, so I feel like it's just something you have to do. And I think Kevin was just like so shocked and so excited that I was like, oh, let's just eat at that food cart. So that was fun. Then after the show, we started walking back to our hotel and we were just hoping that we would find a restaurant for dinner along the way. And we ended up at a really cute place. I think it was called Houndstooth and it was kind of like a English inspired pub. So they had a cute cocktail menu with like cocktails named after like the queen and I remember the other one was like Ed Sheeran and I don't know there are a couple of their ones and so I actually got the French onion soup just because like I'm so congested I just wanted like soup it sounded so good and it was like the best soup I ever had it came in a cute little mug and it had like melted cheese all over it and then we also shared some popcorn shrimp and then for our meal we just shared a chicken pot pie so that was really good it was really like cute and cozy in there it was funny because they just sat us in this like corner booth and there were mirrors all around us so it looked like we were sitting with like ourselves like my across from me was like a reflection of me and then across from Kevin was a reflection of him so that was kind of weird but just it was just a funny part of the dinner but yeah we just keep saying how crazy it is like how much we have already done so far and also how everything is going so perfectly without us coming into this trip having any plans and I think because we just have been like going with the flow of things and then if something like doesn't feel like a 100% yes we're like uh no let's just keep looking for the next thing and then whatever we stumble upon is just like absolutely perfect like for instance our our dinner last night we just kept like passing certain places where we were thinking should we stop there but it kind of felt like a little bit forced and then we ended up at the perfect restaurant so I'm really hoping that that carries over to today so the plan for today is to head down to Soho and Chelsea Market so those are like the two main things that we have planned and then we'll see what else we get into but yeah the only thing that I really really want to do today is get a New York bagel so I'm hoping that we can find a place to get that and yeah it's supposed to rain at some point today so I'm hoping that we don't get too soaked but Chelsea Market is indoors so that's kind of like our plan if it starts raining really hard we're just going to head over to Chelsea Market so I'll show you how it goes today <laughs>
yesterday it ended up raining all day long, but we took the subway to Soho and the first thing we did there was get bagels at this cute little stand called Leon's Bagels. So I just got a bagel with cream cheese and then Kevin got like an egg and bacon uh, bagel sandwich. And then we also got coffees there. And then we walked over to Broadway, which is where a lot of shopping is at. And I actually ended up buying some new shoes from Steve Madden and I actually need to pack them in my carry-on so let me get them and show them to you. So I got these chunky loafers and there were two different kinds that I liked. So one was like more flat and the leather was like a little bit shinier but I just thought these chunky ones were more like unique looking. Okay so let's see if I can fit them in the bottom of this bag. Perfect. Okay, hopefully they don't get like too smushed when I have to put this under the airplane seat. But okay, so then after we did all of our shopping, we took the subway to Chelsea Market, which if you haven't been before, it's basically a market of a bunch of different restaurants. It's mostly food. There are like a few little shops. So we got these like spicy noodles, which neither Kevin or I really like spicy food. So we got like the most mild one and it was pretty good, but the noodles, I don't even know like what type of noodles they were. They were delicious but the noodles were so long and like really hard to cut so it was kind of like difficult for us to eat anyway it was good but we shared that and then we went into dessert so I saw all these people walking around with like these little ice creams and it looked really good so we went over to the area where everyone had them and we were so confused because it was called like the place I think was called no it wasn't called that I don't know what the place was called but like everything was tahini which like we didn't know what tahini was and so we were like are there like different flavors and the guy was like no it's just one flavor it's just tahini and I don't know I think you had to be there but like it was so funny and we ended up like getting the tahini sundae and I mean it was pretty good but we still like have no idea of like what tahini is and then we left chelsea market and walked over to the little island which is basically like i don't know a walkway kind of like a garden and um you have like a really pretty view of the skyline and i believe it's like the hudson river so that was really cool and then after we saw that we walked along the high line which is like a raised walkway Way, like through a bunch of different buildings not like through the inside of the building but just like in between buildings and we think it used to be like an old um train track because like the train track was still there but they had like remade it really nicely and yeah that was pretty cool but again it was pouring down rain all day yesterday so we were just saying how funny it was like in any other place we would not be just like walking through the cold pouring rain all day and like not complaining but because it's new york city and there's so much to see it was like actually not really bothering us that much so then from there we just started walking back to our hotel and we were getting hungry for dinner so we stopped at the Italy like market and restaurant um it's like at Flatiron I believe I think there's a couple different ones and we went to Italy Flatiron and if you've never been there it's like um kind of like a grocery store but at each different section there would be like a different restaurant so like in the pasta section like pasta and pizza ingredients there was like a pizza restaurant and that's where we went to eat and it was really fun because they sat us at the bar so like we had some entertainment because our view uh, where we were sitting were like all of the cooks making all the food and I got the lobster linguine and Kevin got a pizza and we just shared it and then I also got a disgusting drink which I thought it was gonna be really good it was like a vanilla drink with fig and elderflower and like for some reason in my mind that sounded like a really like cozy drink but it was so gross and the whole time like I really just wanted to drink it because we had bought it and Kevin just kept saying like it looked like I was crying every time I took a drink now I know to never get something like that again so then from there we took one last subway ride back to our hotel and when we got here we ended up ordering insomnia cookies so we ate cookies in bed and watched 
Home Alone and it was actually the one in New York City so that was kind of fun to see like the different um, places but actually I like fell asleep pretty quick so I only watched it for like a few minutes. And now this is our last day so we haven't even done anything today. We have to check out of our hotel at 11 and head straight to the airport and we both woke up at 6 so we totally could have gotten up and gotten ready and like did something else today but I told Kevin I don't even think I could keep walking today like my legs are so sore from all of the walking that we did so we just kind of laid around and got ready and packed up all of our stuff and we need to get an uber soon over to the airport and we're just gonna like stop at a restaurant there and get something to eat for lunch because we're gonna be pretty early but we have missed a flight before so now we are like extra prepared at the airport so yeah that's the plan for today but this has seriously been the best trip it's been so much fun and I feel like we really did everything that we had in mind to do here during this trip last night we started thinking of like some other things that we could have done but it's not like we're like disappointed that we didn't do those things we did say we would like to come back probably in the fall or maybe the springtime and we also said that we would probably not stay in Midtown again. It was a nice place to stay, but as long as you are near a subway, you can really go anywhere you want. So we really liked the Soho area. We thought if we came back, maybe we would stay there. I don't know, but yeah, we really had like so much fun here and would love to come back. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, especially if you are planning a trip to New York City for the first time. I feel like we did like a lot of the first timer things, even though this is actually my second time here. And also if you're coming at the holidays, I feel like we did a lot of fun holiday things. And I'm also planning on writing a blog post of everything that we did. So that way you can just look up that blog post rather than watch this video if you um, use it as like a travel guide if you come here. I forgot that I wanted each of us to say what our favorite part of this trip was. So do you want to go first with yeah. your favorite parts? Today? Yeah, I think walking through Times Square at night and taking the subway was my favorite part. It's so funny because everything that Kevin loved was like the, the opposite. Like I do not like really stressful, chaotic <laughs> environments. <laughs> And those are Kevin's favorite parts. I actually forgot to say in a couple of these recaps, like we actually went to Times Square a couple of different times because Kevin loved it so much. And every time I was like, I liked it at first, but then I was like really ready to get out of there. It's just so cool. You're like walking and everything's dark and suddenly you see all the... It's yeah. so lit up. You see it from blocks away. And then I think that my favorite parts were... Central Park and like going to the Rockets. I have like a new <laughs> obsession with the Rockets, but I think just like doing all the like Christmassy like stuff like that was really fun. Oh, like just shopping in Soho was really fun. Yeah. So I think those are my really fun. favorite parts. Yeah. But well, that's it. So see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.